Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So I'm just taking the Valtra and this trailer to the cell point. I don't think we need it again. Um, and actually it was over at the flower production and we do have 22,000 litres of flour so I think it's probably a good idea to go and pick that up and take it over to the donut factory. Uh, also we might need to take a bit more to the bakery but I'm not sure at the moment. So let's just get these two sold. There we go. Um, and yeah, that's brought in a bit more money. Anyway, let me just go across to the bakery, which is just over here. Head around the back, which is where we have all the different products. Uh, I think I do have a lot of bread waiting to be sold. Yes, I do. And I don't think we really need to make any more. It's just a case of consuming everything that we have really so if we just go into the bakery on this list which is just here uh, you can see we actually do have a lot of butter and we have a lot of eggs still in here and sugar sugar is probably automatically distributing so it doesn't want to it wants to be stored and then sold so no it, it has 28,000 liters so really I think we're going to take all of the flour to the donut factory it is for the best. Now when is the bread at its best price? Because as there is so much here, we really do need to sell it when it is at its best price. Uh, ah, today. Lovely. <laughs> Farm shop. So we'll get these picked up right away and get them sold. Once we have sold these, we can come back and we can pick up the flour. Should be a fairly decent load. Okay, that's all but two. It's already 20,000, so probably 22,000 litres, uh, which is quite spooky, because that is the same amount of litres that we have in flour. Weird. Anyway, yeah, we should be looking at quite a substantial amount of money here. I know I don't need to open the curtain, but I just like to see everything disappear, and it makes it a bit easier to see when to move, when to move forward because I do like to sell everything in one go instead of splitting up the payment so 122,000 lovely I'm going to make even more than that from the donuts so we have to get more flour to the donut factory now we won't have all spawned because I have got it set to storing uh, we have four here actually we might have more than 22,000 because that might be what hasn't spawned yet we'll have to see uh, but it should keep filling up in fours. Next four should appear any second. Three, two, one, now. Ah, oh, that's close. Um, and actually, yeah, it's all coming now. Super fast. Yes, it was more than 22. 26. Now that is brilliant. That's a good load. I'm not sure if we need any more eggs over here. But let's just deliver all of this. It's going to be... A big delivery. I'm hoping there is space for it all. Hmm. Probably not. But if we just keep it nearby... Okay, no, it just hasn't taken it. I'm probably a bit too far out of the trigger. I will just get this sorted out as quickly as possible. Okay, the trigger is definitely at the back. Oh, <laughs> yeah, move the entire trigger. Actually, that would work. Probably for the best. I think it will all fit. I would hope that it is all going to fit. The final view. We're still going. I think the radar was just too low. Oh, right, that might be it. So we're potentially left with just those two. Indeed, 25,000 litres. So they just need a few more eggs and then everything's going to be really good. We did sell the eggs recently, but it doesn't matter because those chickens produce eggs so quickly. In fact, they might already have some more. But it's just good to know that that is all sorted so we can reactivate the donuts. There we go. And they, I think they produce pretty quickly. The next thing I want to do is the fish farm. Now, I've updated the fish farm mod, which means that we don't need the pallet production anymore. We should just need corn and mineral feed. Uh, we did keep quite a decent load of corn yesterday. 
I think it was about 50,000 litres, and they already do have probably 20,000 litres. So, yeah, we're just going to consume all of the corn. Once we run out of corn, we'll sell the factory. Ah, we do need to transfer strawberries to the ice cream factory. I don't want to transfer too many, though. They have to be consumed, otherwise I could just sell them. So I'll probably pick up about four or five. We'll go with five. Two and a half thousand litres. And we'll take it over to the ice cream. Very soon we can sell this ice cream. It's really building up. And the price is good. So that's the strawberries being taken. Let's just see if we can risk selling it today. Seems really good. Uh, 10,000 pounds. So we can potentially get another 300 pounds. Which I suppose is fairly significant per 1,000 litres. So we'll keep waiting for now. And what I will do is slide these all to one end because we are currently blocking the spawn point which is not too good okay that should be good uh, we just have to pretend they're in a freezer not sat outside in the sun but I suppose it is December so it could be worse anyway yes we must check upon the mineral feed we need to get some mineral feed so we can take it over to the fish farm I think the best thing to do is to get the other lorry because that currently has the trailer on it. There it is. It's actually just down at the train station or the, the train cell point. In an awkward position. I'll just see how much we have by basically loading up the trailer. It should tell us when I press R. R. 503 litres. Well, I suppose we did only start it not long ago. So, in that case, maybe we have enough just to start things off again over here. Let's just see. I can't remember what the situation was. I think the only reason why it stops is because we run out of pallets and we don't need pallets anymore. Just corn and mineral feed. Ah, oh, good. So, yeah, we can just start. So, that's nice. Yep, that's good. With there being so little, I think we can we can put this into another trailer. We have another trailer, and uh, yes, yesterday when I when I returned the rented trailer, I thought we had the corn in our own trailer, but it actually turned out to be in the rented trailer. So basically, yeah, I just need to add it back in again because the corn disappeared with the trailer. I think it was about fifty thousand liters, but of course I can look back on the video. But we'll get it. It won't be wasted. We'll put those 504 litres of mineral feed into this one. Well, we can actually elapse quite a bit of time now. Things can only improve. The price of ice cream, for example. Wow, the chickens are actually consuming this fairly slowly. Right. I'll take this one over the 550 litres over to the other chickens. Hundred liters. Well, it's not going to be wasted. Wait for the chickens to eat a bit more, and then we can tip it. Twenty-five liters. <laughs> actually, I think you know what. We'll just move on to the next day. We actually don't need to be, as far as I'm aware, in December. There's no reason why we have to be because we're not like waiting for crops to be harvested or anything. It's all done. We're just waiting for productions to become super good. Looks like we might have had a bit of snow overnight. Just a bit of frost. It did snow, but it hasn't accumulated. Uh, Twenty-four thousand pounds has come in. That'll be from our solar and wind, although mostly wind. And that is the trailer empty. So yeah, five. Was it? I think it was five hundred and four liters of mineral feed. So we can set it here. That's exactly how I'm going to retrieve my lost corn. So it's not too much, but we can go and top it up now. It has been working overnight. Ah, oh, that's more like it. 10,000 litres. It would be nice to take a full trailer load. But it can't be too picky. It's a total area of 11,225. Um, so yeah, we'll get that taken over to the fish farm. And it might have already 
produce loads of fish, you might actually have run out of ingredients. In which case, we'll fill up the trailer again with corn until we reach however much we had. I'm going to check in just a minute. I think it was about 50,000. 50,514 litres of corn was in the trailer. So I can now retrieve that. So let's just have another update on the fish farm. Well, I've just added a bit more and it clearly was pretty much full anyway, so we're not consuming things too quickly. I know that things have been adjusted here. This entire mod has been changed. So it looks like the consumption rate is reduced, uh, although it doesn't seem to have slowed down with the production of fish. Wow. Look how many pallets we have already. A thousand litres each. Uh, so yeah, this is obviously going to be something which we do over the next few months until the end. Um, but yeah, I think as it is January, we can leave that there and we can hopefully sell ice cream. And I guess I might as well put it into this trailer. Corn, 50,514 litres. And there we go, it's like it never left. So it's safe. The easy development mod is a fantastic mod. So we'll keep it here for now. At this rate though, we might not need it all. We might actually sell some. So what I could really do with, again, is the auto-loading trailer to pick up all of this. And even if it still hasn't peaked, it's still gonna be an extremely good price. It's gonna be so good. Oh, it has peaked and it's coming down. Um, so that's why it's sometimes not worth waiting. Don't wanna be greedy because it won't necessarily hit that peak price. That's just what it's been to in the past. So this, I would expect, is going to fill the lorry because this is substantial, what we have here. And it's probably even more to spawn. This is a trailer in high demand and really it should be refrigerated, <laughs> but not to worry. Yep, yeah, there's a load more spawning. So at least it's making use of our milk and the chocolate and strawberries and all that stuff. Right, I don't know if we're going to fit the others in. I hope we are going to. But this is the thing now with the end of this series. We are just really finishing things off. Right, so auto load won't fill it, but I can fill it myself. I did put a couple more in. Anyway, yeah, I can uh, squeeze them in. We've got quite a few gaps. So I'll just do this quickly. And the last one. Once these have been sold, we can go pick up the fish. So, that has got to be a lot. 31,000 litres of chocolate, 19,000 litres of strawberry. Obviously, chocolate is more popular. <laughs> or maybe we just have more chocolate. Uh, yeah, chocolate bars to put into there. And, yeah, the sell point for this is the corner shop. Yes, I, I don't think we've actually sold them yet. It's just over here. Looks like my header trailer is waiting for ice cream. But it's not having any. Off it goes. Right, I don't think we're going to get it all sold in one go. Because once again I have gone the wrong way. I should have gone round in a loop first of all. Unless of course I can, by some miracle, get it all into the trigger. Can I? I can. Wow, it's got a big trigger. This is substantial. Ah, oh, look. Almost. But that was £480,000. Plus this final little bit. Plus 4644 And... That bit. 1402 And I think we probably have another surprise around the corner. Donuts, by any chance? Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, yeah. We've got to the stage where we can just make a million pounds overnight. And in the first maybe 50 episodes, I was struggling. Really struggling. Now I can imagine this production has stopped. I bet it's run out of eggs. Yes, it has. So we'll get all the eggs brought across here. And with our one point, or well, almost 1.5 million pounds, I think it would be a good idea to put up the last wind turbine. That's my plan. 
So if we can get over here, that would be great. I always want to fast travel to the muck heap, but you can't. Okay, so I think just here. It's going to be a bit close to the smaller turbine, but it really shouldn't be a problem. So production generators, this three quarter of a million pound one, I'll put it here. And uh, yeah, there we go. All three of them. Oh, that is getting close, but it's not within touching distance. Maybe when it rotates it will be. <laughs> no, I think we're okay. Uh, so yeah, this will be the only time I can imagine that we're going to have enough money just to keep buying massive three quarter of a million pound wind turbines. So we've got to appreciate this moment. Amazing. And they have a £65,000 income each per month. Or for us, per day, because, yeah, a, a month is a day. Uh, which is really significant. At the end, they'll be sold. Probably for half price. Yeah, about half price. Uh, so, we probably actually won't profit on them, but they're still fun to have. If we were going long term, like for another year or two, we would definitely profit from them. So we'll sell these. We'll then bring the eggs across, we'll then pick up the fish. Already though. I think this was only 3,000 litres of eggs that we had. And we've already made all of this. Now, I might feel like we are just going to keep doing this forever, but it's going to end. Oh, that should be sold. It is going to end because we have a limited supply of flour. Not bad, seven and a half thousand pounds. We do need to keep selling everything. Except for stuff that we might need. Basically any kind of grass work, because we might still cut that one field. That's another 140,000 pounds. Yep, easily. Almost 10,000 litres of eggs. Significant. Should be able to make many, many pallets of donuts with that. Excellent. And finally, the fish. And then we can probably move on to February, although it seems crazy. Uh, that's when the cereal is at its best price. Although, oh, we probably have some wool to transfer. We don't want that building up too much, because obviously it needs to be processed into fabric and then into clothes. That is essential. Uh, okay, right, so is that one going to go? It is. What a lot of products to move around. I'm hoping that is actually still activated. It should be. That one is the top one. That one's finished. Uh, these are finished. Oh, we've actually got all of our grapes and raisins as well. Sorry, grape juice and raisins. So they need to be looked at. Sugar beet needs to be changed to storing. That's good, that's good. Cereal's finished because it's run out of honey again. Typical. Uh, and this is the one which we're in now, so that's fine. That's all good. And that's... Oh dear, that's got 78... Oh, I shouldn't have had that set to distributing. It's got all the sugar. What a shame. And what were the chances of that? Great demand for fish. Just as I'm about to sell them. That's incredible. Yeah, so I think next episode we'll cut the grass. We'll probably make silage out of it. Should be enough time for it to ferment. And we can sell that. The cows, I very much doubt we'll need it because they've already got loads. So as we're here, we will sell the pallet and barrel production for £52,000. I'm pleased that we uh, experienced these two productions, but obviously they're not required anymore. And then, we're back around the corner. 
and we'll pick up the fish. Lovely, 13,000 litres. Soon to be even more. I love that we can actually turn around up here too. There is just about enough space. It is, I, I guess, one of the, uh, the really big positives about the European lorries. They do turn very, very tightly. And now to sell them. Just demonstrate with one. See how much money we can make. Okay, £12,000 each. And there we go. That's everything that we've got so far. I'm going to go and pick up the trailer of corn. Make sure we keep everything topped up. And I actually have downloaded the Sell Anything mod. I'm hoping that we can sell all of the mineral feed because I don't think we're going to need much. The cows can have some. They're consuming next to no mineral feed. They're hardly using anything at all. So, I would tip how much they need, like nine liters, and then this can go back to the cows. No points having it here. I'll also tip a good load of this. And we will keep this here until the end. Uh, when we know that we're finished with the corn, we'll just take the rest to the best sell point, which will most likely be the train. That's why, when I almost forgot why I actually planted the corn in the first place, um, when I realised it didn't actually matter, because we actually already do have quite a bit of corn, so we're still producing fish anyway. So we'll keep that there, we'll take this back, and I will go and transfer some more honey as well to the uh, Ciro factory ready for the final big sell in February actually it won't be the final sell but it would be the big big sell when the price is at its best I do believe the cows take the mineral feed somewhere here I think if I reverse into here I should be close, yep there we go they probably do take quite a lot maybe this full load Indeed. So maybe then a lot of the mineral feed can be just given to the cows. But I am still planning on selling some. And we've still got quite a lot of straw in the hayloft, so I mustn't forget to sell that. Despite it being winter, the bees have still done quite well. Three and a half pallets, which is not much, but for honey, that's not too bad. I was expecting one full pallet. I still just find it amazing how long this series has been going for. Almost a year. 200 episodes. Well, very soon it will be anyway. So that has resumed the cereal factory for tonight. It'll probably consume all that honey tonight. Um, and then all of this can be sold tomorrow. So it should be pretty good. Feels like ages since I've sold cereal. Oh, what? Oh, no. I think nearly every year February has been the best month. It looks like it's been pushed back to March. Not a big problem. Just gives us longer to generate more. Um, but yeah, that's uh, interesting. So, okay. One extra month we have to wait. Potentially. It might still be good in February. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.